Uh, today's scripture reading is Romans chapter 9, verses 6 through 8. Verse 8, this means that it is not the children of the flesh. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Verse 6, I'll get there before you guys do eventually. But it is not as though the word of God has failed. For not all who are descended from Israel belong to Israel, and not all are children of Abraham because they are his offspring. But through Isaac shall your offspring be named. This means that it is not the children of the flesh who are the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted as offspring. So here we go into uh, some of the most hotly contested verses that exist here. But uh, Paul starts out and he says here that not as though the word of God has failed. Um, the issue at hand is Israel. The issue at hand is uh, that Israel had been given all the things that we have listed above in the previous verses. Uh, most, significantly, most significantly, Christ, who took on Israelite flesh, and yet they've largely rejected the Messiah. So Paul begins his elaborating of how can this be the case? So he recounts God's working in the history of Israel towards the fullness of time and the redemption of all things and to show that Gentiles are fitting recipients of God's grace since it's only by grace that Israel was always constituted. <clears throat> Paul draws out the distinctions here, the identifying markers of who Israel is um, in this way. And, and uh, he starts out with not all of Israel belong. And this Israel here is defined in verses 7 and 8 as not all are children of Abraham because they, are not his, because they are his offspring. And this means that it is not the children of the flesh who are the children of God. So this is the distinctly ethnic idea of what Israel comes to mind uh, usually and no doubt in this scenario. And then he defines the Israel, <clears throat> the second Israel, when he says in verse 6, those who belong to Israel, this Israel here is defined it, through Isaac shall this offspring be named, and the children of the promise are counted as offspring. This is separate from the, the mere ethnic distinction. This is uh, no doubt in the ethnicity, but the, the, the defining marker, the identifying markers are those of faith, um, of those of the promise brought through Isaac, um, which those are named, he says, and counted as the offspring of God. So these identifying marks of Israel, of, God, of the Israel of God, are those of the faith of Abraham, not of the physical descent. But this only makes void any claim to anything that might be held up in regards to anyone's ability to lay claim to God's grace. It doesn't make void God's promises <clears throat> and doesn't amount to a wholesale rejection of ethnic Israel. <clears throat> God in Christ is continuing to act in grace, mercy, and compassion in the calling and forming of a peoples from all peoples to himself. And with that, church, lift up your hearts. <clears throat> 